Now that your Billet account is set up and running, you can start by adding your first sales invoice. To manage sales invoices, click on Income in the left menu. To create a new invoice, click Add. If this is the very first invoice you're creating in Billet, you can enter the invoice number manually. For future invoices, Billet will automatically assign invoice numbers based on the existing numbering. For this reason, we recommend starting with the book year, followed by the actual invoice number. You can change the next invoice number in settings before creating the next invoice. Next, you can add a customer to the invoice. If you don't have any customers in Billet yet, you can create your first customer by clicking Create New Customer. If you have already added customers to Billet, simply type the name of the customer and select them from the drop-down. If you have already added customers but would like to create a new one, you can do so by clicking Create New Customer at the bottom of the drop-down. Continue creating your invoice by checking the date, due date and delivery date if applicable. By default, the date will be set to today and the due date will be set based on the payment period configured in the customer file. However, it's possible to change both dates manually. Additionally, you have the option to fill the About, Reference or PO number fields and assign the invoice to a project in case you're using projects in Billet. Make sure you have selected the right currency and VAT specification. Selecting the appropriate specification, for example, co-contractor, will ensure the necessary legal info will be added to the invoice. Through settings, you can also add the information for renovations with 6% VAT or activate financial discount. For certain integrations with accounting software, it's also possible to activate the option to include journals and analytical codes through the settings. You can add your own comments to the invoice that will be visible to the customer. You can also add internal information that's only visible to yourself and your accountant. Finally, you need to add at least one order line to complete your invoice. You can enter a description, price and VAT percentage manually, or you can select one of the search results from the drop-down in case you have added products to Billet. You can also edit the quantity or apply a discount on every order line. If the information is complete, you can click Create Invoice to confirm the invoice. If you want to finish the invoice later, click Save to leave the invoice in draft mode. As soon as you've created the invoice, you can see the PDF on the right. The look of the invoice is based on the invoice layout that you can configure by clicking Settings, Corporate Style. You can edit the invoice information by clicking Edit at the top right of the screen. Then, you can click Create Invoice again to regenerate the invoice. You might also want to do this after editing the invoice layout or adding information to the My Company screen, such as your logo or website. If your invoice is complete, the draft status will change to to be sent. Billet will also generate a structured remittance for bank transfers, ensuring that payments can automatically be linked to the invoice. You can now send this invoice to your customer from Billet by clicking the Send button. After you click the Send button, different options will be available depending on the customer. If you want to send to a professional customer that's registered to the Peppel network, the green Send via Peppel button will be available. We recommend using Peppel as it's the safest way to send your invoice. You can also send invoices by email as long as you have entered at least one email address in the customer details. Make sure to verify your company's email address by clicking the button in the verification email so that your invoice can be sent immediately. When you have sent the invoice from Billet, it's up to the customer to pay the invoice. This can be done faster when you send invoices through Peppel or by using the QR code that's on the invoice. If you have enabled the bank connection in Billet, Billet will automatically check the payment status of the invoice. Check out the info about linking your bank account to learn more. From the income screen, you can follow up on existing invoices by checking the status column. The statuses are draft, to be sent, to pay and paid. If to pay is in red instead of green, the due date has expired. In this screen, you can also apply filters to show a selection of the invoices. The totals at the bottom of the screen always depend on the active filters. Click Reminders in the menu to the left to easily send payment reminders to your customers. 
You can also easily create credit notes based on invoices by clicking the credit note button from the invoice details screen. Next, you can still edit the credit note. The about invoice field tells you to which invoice the credit note is referring. With Billit, you can also create quotes, order forms and delivery forms. After creating a quote, you can send it by email. There will be a button in the email that allows the customer to sign the code digitally. After that, you can easily convert an approved invoice to an invoice by clicking the Create Invoice button from the Quote Details screen. You can also edit the invoice before finalizing it. There are other ways of adding sales invoices if you don't want to create them from Billet. You can import existing sales invoices using Fast Input. And there's lots of integrations that automatically sync sales invoices from external software like web shops or CRM systems. Check out the info about importing existing invoices to Billet to learn more.